Wow, oh my god, look at that. Oh, that was great. Today we are on hollowed ground for migratory birds and migratory birders. We're at the edge of McGee Marsh Wildlife Area in a coastal area of Lake Erie. And this habitat is incredibly important for migratory birds. If you look at spring migration of songbirds, there are three general routes that birds take, but all three routes converge over Northwest Ohio. Before these little birds cross Lake Erie, they want to rest and refuel in wooded habitats on the shores of Lake Erie. So they come down in massive numbers, and these wildlife areas are open to the public so we can bring birds and birders together in a really powerful way. I'm the SOB, the spouse of a birder. I go along, but I'm starting to be a decent birder. What I learned at the very first year is, if you see a whole clump of people, hurry up over there and say, what are you looking at? And they'll say, oh, we've got a such and such. And you're like, where is it? And then they'll say, to the left, to the right. And a bird jam means there's something good. I've been here since uh, Saturday afternoon, and I've seen probably 40 different species of birds. I'm trying to photograph as many warblers as I can, and uh, interesting birds, and meet new people. I meet people from all over the world. There are people here from South Africa, there are people from Africa here, there are people from Australia here, um, all over the United States. We get a chance to meet people with common interests from everywhere around the globe. During the eight-year history, we've had birders register from every state, 52 countries, and six continents, and it's a $40 million economic impact at a time when the region really needed it. For me, it's all about the people. They're just always anxious to help you see the bird that they're looking at and identify that bird. And uh, there are uh, just people here from all over the country and guides from all over the world. And it's uh, really a lot of fun to have the opportunity to meet some of those folks. Last year we saw um, a bird that accidentally flew in from Europe. So for us, that's a life bird. We'll never probably ever see that bird again. You'll hear people go, oh, that's a lifer for me. And that's what it is. That's something that they've never seen before. And if they keep a long list, then that, you know they're all excited about it. We feel like this event has the power to change the narrative about birding and conservation on a national scale, even on a global scale. And the whole, at the core of Black Swamp Bird Observatory's mission and of the biggest week is that we want people to care more about habitat conservation. And the first step is getting them to love birds. And we can bring people together with birds in a magical and powerful way here. And then we help them make the next step into supporting the habitat that these birds rely on.